one more thing, you guys. I, I ordered a fan off of eBay just because I felt like I saw this and I just thought I needed it. I thought I'd use it for my uh, Armor Big Rock 4S. I, that I turned into 4S. I used a Max ESC. The Max, you know, the, the, the Traxxas Max. Used the ESC out of that and made it into a 4S, and she is a beast. But I figured on a 4S with that engine, with the 3S engine that comes with Arma, it'll hold it just fine, most likely. But uh, I wanted to throw this on there. Well, when I looked, it already had a fan on there. So I was like, oh, and this is the V3 Big Rock. And uh, then I had this already coming, and it just made sense that uh, this here would be the perfect motor, each sake this here so the, the, this is one part that I forgot to mention so I ended up having to uh, let you guys know that this is actually gonna go on the motor and I think that this is gonna be a badass car with the shocks being purple I like the gray scheme I like the camouflage I like the big tires I hear that the spot the spokes they break easy um, other than that you can put like uh, epoxy around it whatnot you can do things to strengthen those up so and these are one of my favorite, one of my favorite tires. I mean, the other one being the Kaiju, the Proline MX-38s. Uh, I do like the uh, backflip tires, and I do like the Creighton carburetor tires. So there's all those. So I just wanted to show you that one part there that I forgot to mention. My bad. There it is. What do you guys think of this truck? Well, I like the camo for one. It kind of reminds me of one of those war cars. Okay. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It certainly does. It looks like a commando car, right? Hmm. The yeah. one like the uh, general would ride. Right, right, definitely. And, uh, to see this thing uh, run and flip and do all that stuff is going to be really decent, I think. Robbie, what you got? Well, no, I definitely like it. You know, like Catherine said, I like the camouflage on it. Well, you've seen most of my cars. Oh, yeah. So you know. I mean, what do you think? I mean, compared to the rest, she's uh, a great one like the rest as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Uh, the durability, especially with this here, is a little bit of an issue, but hopefully, uh, from what I've seen, and I wouldn't have bought this otherwise, is that she'll, she should hold up if you drive her correctly. So, there's that. So, what do you think compared to, not compared to all the other cars, but in just in general, what do you think for your style and your liking? Well, I think she'll make, I think she'll make a great addition. And Absolutely. She will... Uh, I hope so. And hopefully, like you said, she doesn't break her bend or anything. Right. And even if she does, it, this car has a tendency to keep going. Even with the bent chassis, I was still able to run this. The center dog bone got bent from the chassis bending. You can either bend that back or get a new one. So, and and they're not pricey parts, but the you know, so it's not like it took me out of commission to keep running the car. The only thing that did was this. I would have still been able to with the chassis bent, and uh, but then this broke, I believe, even after. I don't think it happened during the run, but. We'll figure it out once we uh, run them both again. We'll see. So, what do you think? I think this is a really sharp car right here. This is a nice truck. Yeah. I like the design. I like it. It just stood out to me. You know, it was like, I like it. You know, I've seen a few of them, and uh, this one really got my interest to actually want to learn more about it, too. Seeing you put on the shocks and the wheels, I was like, wow, this is cool. You know, but this really is it. This is the truck, and I, I can't wait to see it up and running, seeing what it can do, and go from there. But right now, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I like it a lot. And with these tires, you're talking super grip. So what what do you think of these tires? I mean, I know you haven't seen many, but what do you think? I mean, I could bring some out, but you know, I think you go with it and see how it runs. These are some of the biggest tires I've ever seen right now, but I think those are nice. Yeah, these. You know? these these are the biggest tires I've ever seen. I, am re I really am. I'm just saying. I am really excited about this drive. I believe it's you. Nice. I believe you. So there it is, guys. The ZD Racing Pirates Three with the camouflage. This is the Roman body version. This is the Pirates Three as well. But we got the E Sheen O2. And, uh, again, if you want to, you can like, or if you really want to, subscribe to see these videos later on. That way, you don't miss them because we're going to be doing some great stuff. But uh, if you want, leave a like and uh, just get it more circulated around. And until then, have a great day. And uh, the viewers, though, do you think if this would be worth the money for this drive? 
You for this mean? truck, yes, because I only paid like two, three hundred dollars, and if you drive it right, it'll work. Oh no. Uh, you know what I mean? It doesn't need many upgrades. I don't yeah. think. So we'll find out in time if this really is worth the money. That is a good question. That's a great question. You know, if this is really worth the money versus what you get. Um, as far as I can tell so far, no problem. Especially the wheels alone. I can put them on other vehicles. The body too. So, but my point is, is that for this truck, for the money, I'd say it's uh, about right. If not, if not good, it's good. But if the durability holds up less than, than what's expected, which I don't think it is, but if it does, then it might be a different story. It might be just worth the money. you know. But if you drive it right, I think it should be fine. That, that's a great question. A really great question. So again, like if you want to see the, and like and subscribe. and Like if you want this to be more circulated or get more circulated. Subscribe if you want to see the future videos. And until then, uh, have a great day and uh, enjoy your RICs like I do because that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, have a great day.